today, we're going to begin lying down. Lying down in butterfly. Bring your feet together and your knees apart. And turning your palms up. Relaxing your chin down towards your throat, adjusting your head so that your forehead is a little higher than your chin. Making any adjustments, adding support outside the legs if the stretch feels quite intense already. Close your eyes and your lips and breathe through your nose. not making your breath too extreme, manipulating or changing or adding technique, but allowing for your focus to turn inward to notice your breath, maybe for the first time today. Maybe for the first time today, you're noticing the heart beating and the rhythm of your breathing. And you're welcome to even place your hands on your heart and on your belly to further connect, to deeper connect to the beating heart, the lungs, inhaling and exhaling. Feel your body settling, arriving, your bones start to feel a little heavier in your body. And if you don't quite feel like softening is available to you yet, let that be the goal of your practice. Let there be an unfolding, a softening throughout the practice. Feel the earth supporting you. to the earth here. Even if you're on the second, third, fourth floor of your building, there's lots of layers between you and the earth. Feel that connection through all of the space between you and the earth. Through the back body, through your mat, through the floor, down all the way into the earth. Know that you're supported in your practice today, in your body, and by the earth.
slowly close your knees, placing your feet onto the floor, releasing your hands out to the side, separate your feet a little bit here and knees fall from side to side. Come back through center, place both feet onto the floor, lift really slightly, maybe just a centimeter, lift your hips, tuck your tailbone, and then bring your knees in towards you. You can be holding on top of your knees, or if it's more comfortable, you can hug behind the knees. Relax your shoulders, feel that settling, softening support of the earth. And feel this nice release in the low back. And you can stay entirely still here, or you can gently rock your body, rocking your body from side to side. Or if it feels better, staying centered still here. Breathe through your nose. Soften your chest and inside your shoulders and your shoulder blades as you exhale. Take one more breath. Slowly release your hands and bring your feet to the floor. And then take your left foot over your right thigh and let your legs fall all the way over to the right till your left foot comes down onto something, onto the floor, a block if you use it. Take your right hand to the inside of your left thigh and very gently push it away from you so that you're feeling a little bit more space on the left waist, left hip. Push your right hand into your thigh, open your chest towards the ceiling. Create space here between the bottom of your rib cage and the top of your left hip. One more breath. Release your right hand, bring your right foot back onto the floor. Keep the legs crossed as they are, but let your legs fall over to the other side. So the left leg remains on top of the right thigh, but your legs are falling towards the left. You can release your arms out to the side or have them down by your hips. Breathe here, letting the weight of your left foot help to stretch the right side. And last breath. And bring your right foot back onto the floor. Situate yourself so that your spine is straight. You can keep your right foot on the floor or come into any variety, any version of reclined pigeon. Right foot on the floor, legs in the air, holding behind the right hamstring. Let your feet remain flexed here. Very gently, if you're holding behind the right hamstring, use your left elbow to resist very slightly the left thigh from collapsing in towards you. Try to keep your shoulder blades connected, your chin relaxed, broadness in the chest, belly breathing. Take a nice Deep inhale and exhale. Imagine like you're breathing into the left hip. Nice. 
go ahead and release your hands if you're holding the hamstring and take your left foot cross it a little further over the right thigh lift your head and hold anywhere along the lower legs the ankles maybe the feet and then lay back down lay your spine long chin towards the throat feel the low back the middle back the upper back touching and if it feels okay on the knees Gently pull the feet in towards the thighs, towards the hips. Taking a couple of breaths in each of these poses here. And then go ahead and release your feet. Bring your right foot down onto the floor. Keep the left leg crossed over the right thigh. Hands kind of 45 degrees from the body. Relax your shoulders back. Keep your shoulder blades down. Keep your chest open. Let your legs start to fall over to the right. As you do so, ground through your left shoulder and look to the left. Come back to center, gaze and legs, and do that two more times. Let your legs move over to the right as you do so. Ground through your left shoulder and look over the left shoulder. Come back to center, and last one. Knees over to the right, ground the left shoulder, look over your left shoulder. Come to center, release your legs, straighten the legs. That was a lot on one side of the body, so remain here for a moment. Notice how your spine, hips, right side, left side feel. And then we're going to switch our sides, so bring your feet onto the floor and take your right foot, ankle this time, over the left thigh. And we're going to let the legs fall over to the left. Bringing your right foot onto the floor. Take your left hand this time and start to press your right thigh away from you. As you do so, gently draw back. Draw back through the back of the pelvis, through the right side of the pelvis, through the right waist, through the right rib cage. Even though you're resisting with your left hand, try to soften your chest and deepen your breath. And take one more breath. Release your left hand, bring your left foot onto the floor and we're going to let the legs fall over to the right. Keeping your right foot on the left thigh, drop your legs over to the right. Keep your chest square towards the ceiling, breathing through your nose. In any of these poses, if it feels right, close your eyes. Notice the smoothness, the depth, the location of your breath. And then bring your left foot onto the floor. Align your spine. Take your legs into pigeon, either remaining with the left foot on the floor or bringing your legs in towards you. Holding behind the left hamstring, gently pull your legs in towards you, but with the right elbow, gently resist out. Keep the ankles flexed. Feel the right hip, the outside of the right hip, getting a nice big stretch here. Keep the right knee from collapsing by pressing out with the right elbow. Take one more inhale. As you exhale, release your hands. If you're holding the hamstring, cross the legs a little more. Right knee 
over the left knee. Lift your head to hold whichever part of the legs you need. And then lay back down, maybe gently pulling your feet towards the opposite hip. Trying to relax through the low back, the sacrum getting a nice big spacious stretch here, the outer hips. Try to soften your face, especially if this feels intense. Try to soften, soften your breath, your jaw, your eyes. Go ahead and release your feet. Bring your left foot to the floor. Keep the right leg crossed over your left leg. Arms to the side, palms open. Ground through your shoulders, your shoulder blades. Let your legs fall over to the left as you do so. Ground down through the right shoulder. Look over your right shoulder. Breathe in and come back to center. And do that two more times. Lower your legs to the left as you do so ground your right shoulder look over to the right come back to center last time come back to center release your legs onto the floor align your spine and stretch your legs out come into a short shavasana noticing the left and right side the low back the Spine, the quality of your breath. And we're going to come to seated, so if it's available to you, you can rock up to seated, holding behind the knees, swinging your legs, and coming upright, or coming up any way that it feels best. Extend your legs out. Notice how the spine feels after spending so much time lying down, feeling that support from the ground even when coming up right to seated. Flex your feet, lift your arms up, and take a forward fold. Your hands can come behind the knees if there's tightness in your hamstrings. You can hold behind the calves, the ankles. You can even hold the feet. Soften your elbows out, rounding through your spine gently. Relaxing your head. Take one more breath. And then slowly come upright. Come to seated. Take your hands behind you, place your feet on the floor, and lift your hips, bring your hips closer to your heels. Maybe keep your hands there. For some, you can walk your hands a little bit further back, and then start to bend your elbows. Bend your elbows back, drop your shoulders in, and kind of hammock your spine. Tuck your tailbone, tuck your chin, softly curling in. Big stretch for the inner shoulders here. Take another breath. And then slowly release. Start to push into your hands. You can walk your feet away from you. Slowly come up. Bring your hands forward. Come onto hands and knees. And take some intuitive movement here, whatever you need. Maybe you need child's pose, or you can move through cat and cow pose, or maybe some more circular motion here, stretching out the toes, or even stretching the fingers and wrists and palms in different ways. Just taking a few moments to explore the practice arching, rounding, moving in unison with your breath. And then we're going to come into downward facing dog. Walk your 
your hands, maybe half a handprint forward and tuck your toes under and send your hips back and up. Imagine pushing down into the earth, down into the whole palm, not just the base of the wrist, but the whole hand, the whole perimeter of your hand. And gently engaging the arm muscles towards the arm bones, pulling up into your armpits, pushing down and forward. The heels can be up or down, however feels best. We're going to come into pigeon, bring your right knee towards the outer right side of your mat, behind the wrist, your right foot over towards the left wrist, and your left knee comes to the floor. And you might want props here under your hands or to spider your fingers. We're going to do three cat and cow poses here. Inhale, drop your hips and push into your hands and lift your chest and chin. And then as you exhale, round your back, push into your hands, pull up into your armpits, and try to squeeze your right heel towards your left knee. Inhale, drop your hips, arch your back, lift your chin like cow pose, and exhale, imagine like cat pose, pull up, pull up and in. And do one more, inhale, and exhale. And then come into any comfortable pigeon pose here. You can drop onto your elbows. You can lay all the way down onto the floor. You can use pillows, anything you have around the house. Breathing a little deeper than the beginning of your practice. And we'll take one more breath. If you're lying down, come back up onto your hands, sit onto your right hip, and bring your left leg up and over your right leg. You can have your whole left foot on the floor, or maybe just the pinky toe side. Bring your left hand behind you, and your right arm reaches up, extending as you breathe in, as you breathe out, come into a twist. Right elbow outside the left thigh, you can remain with your palm open, trying to keep the chest broad, just like when we were lying down. Try to keep your chest open, your shoulder blades a little closer towards the spine. You can bring your right hand to your heart. If it feels appropriate, maybe looking over your back shoulder, but the neck is kind of the last part of the twist. Breathe into your belly, breathe spirally. Take another breath in. And as you breathe in, float out of the twist. Bring your hands over to the right. A gentle counter twist. Come to center, release your legs. Make your way into downward facing dog, however it works for you. Kind of move around in your hips and your legs, finding extension through your arms, your spine, the neck, maybe the backs of the legs. And we'll bring the left leg into pigeon, bringing your left knee towards the outer edge of your mat behind the wrist, your left foot towards the right wrist, and lowering your right knee. And I keep my toes tucked, protecting the knee, but Either way that feels comfortable for you. Take your hands onto your blocks or maybe spider fingers and push away from the floor and lift your chest. And as you exhale, pull up and in, try to round your back like a cat stretch, chin to chest, tucking your tailbone, heel and thigh trying to meet. And then do two more, breathe in and breathe out. And breathe in and breathe out. And then we'll take a couple moments here in our pigeon so you can keep your hands on the floor, 
squaring your hips, your chest forward, and coming down onto your elbows or all the way down into your belly or using props. Any setup that feels good for the left knee, that feels like a big stretch in the left hip. Take one more breath. Go ahead and release your 
arms. Bring your hands onto the mat, unwind your legs, move your feet out of the way. Bring your feet onto the floor, scoot your hips forward. We're gonna lay back down onto the floor, coming into a knee hugging position, Apanasana. You can stay here, you can come into happy baby, holding on to the feet, the outer edges of the feet. Any final movement that you'd like here. Feeling the energy kind of shifted towards the end of our practice. And then we're going to come into final rest. You can release your feet, your legs, laying flat onto the floor. If you have a beautiful wall next to you, also available is a posture like legs up the wall. So it depends on your situation where you're practicing. You can lie flat on your back, resting, or you can take legs up the wall, hands by your sides, palms open, allowing for full release here. No effort. Your body supported by the earth, coming back into that earthly support, that softening of your bones inside your body, some easy breathing here. Just like all of our practices, if you have the time to commit to more time in final relaxation in Shavasana or legs up the wall, I encourage you to do so, setting a timer for yourself and resting longer here. If it's time to end the practice, if you're feeling your practice complete, make your way upright to any comfortable seated position. You can sit cross-legged, you can sit kneeling. Once you're there, give your body a stretch. And then bring your hands to your heart. Sealing in your practice, honoring yourself. Newness, fresh energy being alive. Thank you for sharing your practice with me. Namaste.